Welcome to Australasian Bus and Coach TV. And today we're in lovely Mount Macedon in Victoria, checking out the freshly launched Renault minibus, which has been custom designed for Australia at only 12 seats compared to the usual 17 in Europe, which gives it loads of space. And this little bus is propelled by a 2.3 litre engine, which pushes out 150 horsepower and 350 newton metres of torque, and that's matched with a six-speed automated manual transmission. And running us through some of the details of the bus is Commercial Vehicles Brand Manager for Renault Australia, Lyndon Healy. We recognise the need for a bus with more interior space for local customers. So we've redesigned it to have 12 seats. So uh, it means that anyone with a car licence can drive it. And secondly, because it gives people a bit more room. Some of the competitors out there on the market need to tow a trailer to have that sort of space. Um, we wanted all that space to be internal and that's why I've got such a large area at the back there um, that gives you secure internal stowage. One of the uh, very early design criteria was it had to have rear air conditioning as well. So this one's fully internal and uses the existing compressor and condenser with a new evaporator at the back and it's, um, it's quite an efficient um, solution. We're really happy with it. We've got a very wide variety of customers in mind. Local council with community buses, the aged care space, uh, hotels, clubs, um, small school buses. There's a really diverse range of customers that we'd be targeting with that vehicle. Plenty of safety gear, like all Renault vans. Um, the master bus has also got a lot of safety gear standards, so you get stability control, ABS brakes, traction control, hill start assist, four airbags, uh, reverse camera standards, so plenty of gear there to keep your, uh, your passengers safe. We've been mindful that um, we need to come in with a very competitive price if we're going to be competitive in this segment. The recommended retail price is $59,990, plus on-road costs. Um, there's obviously discounts for fleet operators and ABN buyers on top of that. We've also been quite mindful of the, the actual cost of ownership of this vehicle, so it comes with a three-year, 200,000 kilometre warranty that's extendable out to five years. Service intervals are set at 30,000 kilometres or 12 months, whichever comes first, and services are capped at um, $349 per service. These passenger seats are great, very comfortable, very easy to get onto the bus and get into whatever seat you like. Heaps of leg room. I like the nice high backs, there's no chance of getting whiplash at all. The only downside is that there's these structural pillars that can get in the road of some of the window seats. It seems an inevitable consequence of being a van converted into a minibus in Australia. But Renault says that later in the year it's bringing out empty buses so that customers can configure the seating whatever way they want, including wheelchair access. Meanwhile, up the front, the Isri driver's suspension seat is very easy to get into and very nice to sit in. It's a, it's a lovely bus to drive, there's no doubt about it. And the engine seems good. It's zippy around town, but at the same time, it's sitting on just over 2,000 revs at 110 k's on the freeway. The transmission, the six-speed automated manual transmission is good. There's just a potential trap for young players in that unlike a full automatic that you get in a car, there's not a park mode, it's, it's neutral. So you've got to make sure to put in first gear and, and put the handbrake on. But overall, uh, considering the technology that's in this bus, it seems like terrific value for money to me, and I'm sure it's going to give Toyota, the market leader in this segment, quite a fright. <laughs>